Luxury, comfort, convenience. Everything you need under one roof. Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. This video of 11-year-old Carly Bruscia being led to her death shocked the nation a decade ago. Please come forward. Five days later, Joseph Smith, the man leading Carly, led police to Carly's shallow grave. He was sentenced to death. Hear ye, hear ye. On Wednesday, the Florida Supreme Court heard Smith's second appeal, and it was as strange as the murder itself. His lawyer argued Smith should have been allowed to question jurors to see if they did something improper. Jury misconduct. Even the battle-tested justices were surprised by the argument. There were no, no factual issues that needed to be developed in, in, uh, on this record. That's correct, ma'am. I guess it's just, it defies my... The hearing lasted just half of its allotted time, also unheard of in death appeals. Afterwards, attorney to Robert jerk. Strain told us the legs of any appeal had been cut from under him when the killer led police to Carly's body before ever being indicted. Smith's lawyer is banking on a coming federal appeal in which he'll argue that he ought to be allowed to cross-examine the chemist who analyzed Smith's DNA. If a DNA expert testifies in court about the lab test, he has to be the one who conducted the lab test, not some supervisor reading it. So it's a complicated case. Justices sent a clear signal they weren't buying Wednesday's argument, which moves Joseph Smith one step closer to his execution. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.